Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Bridget Rachini, but you can call me Pretty CEO in the building and there's in the period and there's what's up. Hello, hi. I'm here. And what are you saying about me? Come for me, come for me, come for me. Come for me. Come for me. Woo. I'll be showing you my experience and what I know about bursaries and how to apply for bursaries and where to look more especially for grade 12 or for people who are going to start their first year in 2023 or next year all right so before we proceed please know that I stand to be corrected and this whatever I'm about to say the information I'm about to give or the knowledge I'm about to share with you um what I know and um, what I did and what I was from from my observation actually regarding these things we get <clears throat> we get so um, please note that um, there are I don't know I've been to an institution for five good years I've not been exposed to other administration of the other institutions in South Africa but what I know is from the people to university where I've been um, a student and yeah, basically that's that. But I think some of the things, um, they are basic or they are standards when it comes to the application and, 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 and. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So first thing first, more especially for grade 12s, um, before you apply for a bursary, you have to apply for those that okay we have different types of bursaries we have the bursary the bursaries that um pay for like cover for any any field of study meaning to whatever course you're doing they will find you as long as you meet their requirements or you meet whatever the the, the, the bracket or the requirements of the students that they're, look, they're looking for to fund you get so and there are bursaries that only um um, 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 cover or sponsor or Anglo American, maybe their bursaries are for people who are studying engineering, all fields of engineering, mechanical, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, or whatever engineering, like extra, etc., etc., et of that engineering. The Anglo American will only focus or the only pay or cover the students who are studying what engineering. And we have the likes of, um, what do you call what's that bursary? Um, I don't know why we're mentioning it, but we have the likes of man from Gauteng, man, that G G C I A. No, I'm lying. I don't know, but that Gauteng buzzer, you know what I'm talking about. Some of you know what I'm talking about. So that buzzer only covers for people who, like, all the all fields of study. But if you apply before a certain time maybe like you for, for you to avoid um the capacity because all, okay all these companies they have their maximum maximum amount of, of of funds available to cater for certain people so each and every student they know how many people they are looking for and they know um um what's this even if they, they don't know how many people they are looking for but they have a maximum budget for that in their financial year you get so for example if i think i'll definitely suggest i don't know if get at this thing step by step because now i think i'm going to confuse you okay so first step is you have to know the different kinds of buzzeries you get so the the the, the, the buzzeries that cater for all fields of study and those that cater for certain fields of study get that clear there you get and then number second step is for you to know um all the buzzeries that you're looking for what well, how, how we can do it maybe like you we know we know we are familiar with this companies or this brand for example maybe you're looking at and search clover and go to their buzzery because each and every company has the section of careers the section of buzzeries you get so just browse through and 
see what they usually fund or how, when the applications are open and um the i know turn over in the household must be how much and things like that for you to avoid being disappointed so um we forward so now you know the type of buzzers that, that that are in south africa or the types of buzzers that we have in this country but i think you can um what i'm suggesting is that maybe like familiarize yourself or just that um normalize visiting the website like za buzzers the career portal the student rooms and what else so um so basically that's that and then ne? and then number three step number three before you can apply for a buzzer make sure that you qualify because you going to end up hitting your feelings because obviously if you you apply for something that, that you're not qualifying for they'll reject you and when you're rejected your feelings gonna be hurt that hurt your feelings you get so make sure that you apply for something something that you qualify for you get so meaning that look at the requirements if they say that you want your certified id copy you want your full academic record you want you maybe like your average for first year or for that year to be like 65 and above you make sure that if you have 60 then apply for that because obviously they're going to reject your application and you're going to hurt your feelings and your feelings could get hurt and you're going to cry and i don't want you to, I, I don't want you to i don't want to see you cry i be so please i beg okay so but that's the thing we get so please make sure that you follow um you submit all the required documents because each and every um post or each and every advertisement from these companies from these companies they will tell you or inform you the documents required um the type of documents that needs to um to go to be submitted with the application form <clears throat> so please make sure that you submit that so the the normal or the standard documents required mostly your parents um pay sleep your id number your parents id number um your metric if not academic record um proof of registration if you're still within the academic year and yeah so just basically read what read what the, the the company is looking for and submit as required be honest man but show them good you want this like show them good you don't have the money so you want them to fund you you get you can't be um what's this you can't uh be show them good and you get all this thing figured out you, Malinka, you don't come on you want funding so you have to show them good i want this please help me you get so the most of it most definitely they'll find you you get so another thing to look forward to for especially vacation what's this closing date very important me i personally recommend we could see submit if you see the post today tomorrow be done be, be over and done with or maybe like give yourself a period of three days for you to finish that application and send it through you get like send it through before like in a period of three days because um like get it over and done with the the earlier the better trust me i know what i'm talking about the earlier the better don't just wait for it to be like maybe like wait for the if, for example maybe for the closing day be like um maybe like the 30th of the, of that month and when you're waiting for the 30th to come by and you said we know the 29th they're so good to the, this one is not serious so I should show them good you are serious like just show them to you are serious about whatever like that um you really really need that 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 buzzer you get so submit as soon as possible i prefer with the first week of that application get it through you get and then that's what for 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 um first years whatever so if you put for for students who are within their the academic year or with second year and above or maybe like first year but you like you don't have a, a buzzer and then i recommend you see okay that each and every institution they have um the financial office and also they have buzzer office and also yeah so basically um what's this um 
but mostly like financial office, not the, the bazaar office, because bazaar office they select you that the one who will call you would see hi, it's Miss Bridget, and then yeah, come by, um, come at this office at this time, and they will tell you good now that you have a sponsor and they want to pay for your fees, blah 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 blah. And then mostly if it, with, with the bazaar thing, it works with um, Emma Marks. So if you are academic, if your academic record is very strong, they will like they will randomly randomly call you because the the, the financial the bazaar office it has all the list of people who are funded and, and non-funded students oh i think i'm fast now let me breathe okay so the bazaar office it has the, a list of students the list of students who are funded and non-funded student for that academic year so what they they do um they will just look at the academic performance of each and every non-funded and um, non-funded student and they will um obviously the sponsor will call will be like will call them and be like nah man i have this my budget is this much and i want to fund people, students who are really like passing with 70s and 80s and then the buzzer office know what to do with that information so obviously they have to go to the database or whatever system they're using and then they have to select students who are um, performing very good academically and that's when they will contact you and then the numbers the second step is and um, so this is what the buzzer for buzzer office um process and well i'm sent to, i tend to be corrected but this is what i know make sure pass a bill when i pass a bill when i pass a bill pass a bill what are you for now what are you for now so number two we have um financial office so financial aid office for your financial aid office where they advertise so normalize going there like just go there or check a post over it maybe like they have a post there because in most cases they put they put this post on the notice boards um advertising would see we have um this buzzer by this person and then it wants this and you study this and this this kind of like this academic year like even your school um your school at school your school notice boards they like a campus not like notice boards on campus they usually uh, um 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 post this so if me now personally i'm from i'm from i studied in in Pretoria campus tt Pretoria campus so normally this post that i'm talking about with regards to financial aid office they're usually in building four so basically we have the bursaries that okay so let's summarize all the information that i've, I've, I've said so we have budget so the, we have buzzeries that you apply for that you see okay because there are buzzeries go carry a portal go student rooms and companies websites you get and number two we have buzzeries that are from the buzzery office that go contact you and then if your academic um academic performance is very strong they will just contact you if they do have a sponsor this is not guaranteed but if they do have a sponsor for that academic year they will call you goody uh, please come and then we have a sponsor and they're, they're willing to pay for you this much you get and then number three we have the one of from financial aid office where like you have to go and check that notice boards regularly or just normalize going there just go and check the notice boards even your campus notice boards um just to check if um they do have um some buzzery available and apply and make sure that you apply on time so basically this is and also your institution um announcement like your 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 institution what's this uh, um website where you like where you see a daily announcement yeah they also post some of the buzzeries there so make sure that you follow these four things you get so now we're going to part two of the video where i'm going to tell you about how to pass or the, the kind of questions they ask during a buzzery okay guys so part two of this video where i will tell you the kind well i will share from my experience my, please note that no i'm saying please i like saying please note but, okay bar little hurry um, I, I only at, um attended one buzzer interview well from yeah i only attended one because okay one of the requirements okay one of the buzzers that i applied for the requirements was to attend a buzzer interview you get so the other buzzers that i got they didn't even want um the requirements were not buzzery like it was the, the interview the before ugh, the selection yeah each and every buzzery each and every each and every company 
it has it's a company that has its own budget like what budgetary selection um, um, um process so some they do have interview selection and some they don't have like interviews as part of their selection and some they don't have at all you get so when it comes to budget interviews let me be honest with you they won't ask you about their campaign you don't you don't know anything like clearly you just know if it's from mcdonald's you know go to mcdonald's they sell fast food that's what you know i would see how do they make that wow, the process they follow it how do how do they expect you to know that it's not in the paper name and there's no you're gonna know there so there's no way, there's no flipping way they're going to ask you about their company and their processes. You don't, even that intense, they have um, three or five months to grasp that information. You get like w when they're in, they're in the inside. But when you are well, on the outside and they expect you to know all those questions, there's no flipping way they're going to ask you that question, my darling. You get. So the one thing you have to know, sell yourself like the take is on a high like bona sell yourself like for the fact that you're called for that interview that means you do qualify they just want to get to know you better like just they just want to hear you talk because there's one person in the application and there's one person who's talking so clearly they want to match the application and yourself we could see this person who said this thing because in the application you can lie like your 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 um, cover letter you can write all these positive things but when you start opening your mouth you can speak you can you, you can speak things that they don't appreciate like, that they don't like so there's no way they were going to ask you about their companies and their process and what they do and you don't know that there's no flipping where you can know that kind of information about that company because you're not their employees to begin with you get so i'm sorry so um the first thing first the, I, this okay let me tell you about the questions that they asked me okay tell me about yourself why did you what did you why why did you choose the field of study that you're studying currently what do you see yourself in five years um what else why do you think you are the best candidate for this um what's your plan within your career um i think it goes along with the five years five year plan i don't know and then what else like nothing hectic they just they just get the want to know you better more especially with the field of study that you chose that you, you've chosen and um so basically all they want to know is that why do they consider you you get so it is very important for you to uh to be able to sell yourself so i did this and this and this well yeah man so <laughs> you get so um this is something that you like sell yourself bro like sell yourself born at the take easy like you know, but i get up don't, don't lie don't don't lie because sometimes you lie and you lose an opportunity so i think be honest as possible because obviously you need their help and they wanna they want to help you gently but if only you qualify you get but because you are called because you're shortlisted it means good to you qualify so the only thing that you have to do if you're called for an interview relax one thing for sure relax 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 and um for 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 backup um reasons or for backup thing just get to understand the company what they do but one thing they won't ask you about their company because clearly you don't know anything but just know a little background about the company what they do basically not the entire thing but what they do and what they deal with that's all we get so um i think i summarized everything that's very important for you to know and then yeah man so but the highlights of this video please make sure that you apply for something that you qualify for please apply for things please use the accurate and correct um documents um when, sub so when submitting your your application form when you're sub submitting your application sorry and what else make sure see you pass very well um to for you to set an advantage to be called by your campus um um basary office you get so yeah basically this this is this is this the summary of um of this video because um yeah man and then with the basary interviews make sure see you 
are confident even your voice says it all good to your confident and also sell yourself like sell yourself good to you. they must remember your name they must remember your voice like they must remember your answers you get like stand out and for the further goods you are called like in everything that you do if you are called for that thing no good to you like you already qualify for that they just want to get to know you better that's it and the only way to or to be better or to be considered as the best candidate for that it's only if you were going to if you are going to sell yourself to them in a proper and nicer and more like leave a mark like just leave a mark with them as you remember with yeah there's a girl that's called Bridget Ratwani yeah man there's a girl that's called Bridget Ratwani and we have to call her back like she deserves this you get so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video and this is my two cents knowledge and you can comment with your experience because this is my experience and this is what I know from my institution and then um, but be free to comment down below and share your experience if you're a student or if you've been a student and if you um, you once got a buzzery and how it burned and how it happened so that somebody can know and know what to do Thank you um so this guys this is the end of the video thank you very much for being here so you, you are being consistent with me and i'm also consistent and you are also consistent viewers and thank you very much for always being here watching my <laughs> face and um i'll see you next week and i love you lots don't forget to like comment subscribe share and then i hope you learned some of the things you get but Level 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 level